Welcome to Lecture Online, and now we're going to graph the odd functions. With other words, the number in front of the angle here will now be odd. It'll be 1 theta, 3 theta, 5 theta, and 7 theta. Remember, in the previous video, it was 2 theta, 4 theta, 6 theta, and 8 theta. They were even. In the case of the cosine of an even angle, like 2 theta, 4 theta, 6 theta, and so forth, the number leaves is twice the number that uh, we have in front of the theta. But in case of the odd uh, angles, cosine of 1 theta, co cosine of 3 theta, 5 theta, and 7 theta, there's the exact same number of leaves as the number that represents in front of the theta. So in this case, you only have one leaf, there we'll have three leaves, here we'll have five leaves, and there we'll have seven leaves, and they're evenly spread out over a 360 degree angle. So here the number of leaves can be determined by 360 divided by 1, which is equal to every, every 360 degrees will have a leaf, so therefore there's only one leaf here. In this case, we take the angle 360 degrees divided by 3 and we get 120 degrees, that means on every 120 degrees, we're going to have a leaf, starting with theta equals 0, because remember, when the angle is 0, the cosine is 1, and so therefore, we can see that we'll have a leaf here, we'll have a leaf at 120 degrees, so that would be from there to there, that would be 120 degrees, and then 120 degrees later, that would be a 240, we'll have another leaf. So actually should have been a dashed line, but that's okay. So 100, another 120 degrees, we'll have another leaf, and then finally we get back to 360, so this would be 240 degrees, this would be 360 degrees, so notice there'll be one, two, three leaves on that particular graph. So here we know we're going to have five leaves every 360 divided by five, so what is 360 degrees divided by five? Well, let's see here, that looks like it's uh, 72 degrees, isn't it? 72 degrees, so every 72 degrees, we'll have a leaf. So we'll have one at zero, we'll have one at 72, which is about here, we'll have one at 144, which is about here, we'll have one at, let's see, that would be 72 degrees, 144 degrees, at 72 to that, it'll be 216, so it would be about here, 216 degrees, at 72 to that, that would be 288, 270, that would be 288, that's right about here. And then one back at 360 degrees, which is equal to 0 degrees. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 leaves for this particular graph. And finally, for that particular graph, we're going to have 7 leaves. So we take 360 degrees divided by 7. And for that, we're going to need a calculator because that doesn't come out very nicely. 360 divided by 7. So we get, oop, let me try it again, 360 divided by 7, I get 51.4. So our first leaf will, of course, be at theta equals 0. The next one will be at theta equals 51 degrees, which is a little bit more than 45. So 51 degrees, 51.4 times 2, 1 at 103 degrees. So that would be right here, would be 103 degrees. So add 51.4 to that, plus 51.4. So we have one at 154 degrees, that would be right about there. 154 degrees. Add another 51.4 to that. So now we have one at about 206 degrees, that's 180. That's 210, 206 degrees would be right about here. 206 degrees. Add another plus... 51.4, we have another one at 257 degrees, that would be 270, 260, 257 would be right about there, 257 degrees, We're almost there, plus 51.4 equals, another one at 308, at 270, 308 would be right about there, and then one finally at 360 degrees, which is 0 degrees, so here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 leaves for that particular graph. Now we're ready to graph it. All right, so how do we do that? Well, first of all, three times the cosine of theta. Notice when theta is equal to zero, r will be three. So that would be right over here. Notice there's only one leaf, which means that the leaf will look like this. It will look like a circle, come around like this, and finish like that. Notice when we are at 180 degrees, 180 degrees, that would put that right over there, at 180 degrees, you can see the cosine of 180 would be minus 1, so we're pointing in this direction. We are back over here, 3 units in this direction, because negative 3, when you point in this direction, will put you right back on the circle right there. That's how we graph that particular graph. Now, for the 3-leaf one, we're going to start over here. When the angle is 0, r is equal to 3. 
So it would be one, two, three, so it would be right over there. Notice that we'll come down this way, then we'll continue in this direction, like this, then we'll continue in this direction, like this, and then we'll come back and we'll finish up like that. So that would be the three leaf rows when we have three times the cosine of three theta. Okay, I made this one a little bit too wide, but that's okay. It'll, they should all look exactly the same. Now, coming over here, we're going to have a five leaf one. So starting over here, notice one, two, three, when the angle is zero degrees, R will be equal to three. Now, when the angle becomes equal to, let's say, hmm, half of 72 degrees, how about 36 degrees? What will it look like at 36 degrees? Five times 36 is 180. So when we get to 36 degrees, that would be 180. Uh, cosine of 180 is minus 1, so when we're pointing in this direction, minus 1 will put us right over here on this leaf. That's why when we graph it, it'll come like this, and then it'll go to this leaf, and then it'll go to this leaf, and it'll come around to this leaf, and it'll come around to this leaf, and then we'll continue and finish it up like that. Again, all the lines should go right to the origin, but there you can see, there you have a five-leaf rose. And finally, when we come over here, we start out with when the angle is zero degrees, r is equal to three. So here you, let's see here, make sure that we get that right. So we come over here and then we come over there. Let's see, the way we do this correctly, the way we know which one we need to go to, this one or this one, will depend upon what the value of theta is going to be equal to. So you can see here that if we go to one quarter this value, so let's do that, 51.4 divided by four, that'll be about, about 12, 13 degrees. If we go about 12, 13 degrees, 7 times 12 or 13 degrees is 90 degrees. The cosine of 90 is 0, so therefore r will be 0. So when we go through an angle of about 13 degrees, we can see that then the, then the value goes to 0. We then go to an angle of about twice that much, which would be the difference between uh, 180 and 206, which is 26 degrees. Double that, that means when we point in this direction, we have the cosine of 180 degrees, that will be minus one, minus one times three is minus three. So when we're pointing in this direction, we get a value that will put you right on this line right here. So that means the leaf continues on this way, comes around, continues on this way, comes around, and I think you see the pattern, you come around, oop, now we go this way, we come around to this leaf, we come around to this leaf, and then finally we finish up over there. And so that's how you get all seven leaves when you keep plugging values in for theta, it'll put you on that particular curve. That's what that looks like. So here you have a very interesting pattern. Notice when the, when the number in front of the angle is even, like in the previous video, you have twice as many leaves as you have numbers here, but if it's odd, you only have the same number of leaves as the number in front of the angle theta. So only one leaf, three leaves, five leaves, and seven leaves. And that's how we graph that.